everyone so here i am in the gym in the little cardio room the smell is suffocating me uh look at the mirror i mean look at the mirror look look at this i am so disappointed you know because i mean look at this guys look at this because we're paying like tons of money to be here at this result and this is what they have Having these is not the problem. It's just the smell of mildew and the suffocation. I just, I don't know. I feel very, very disappointed uh, at their gym room. When I asked the lady where was the little cardio room, she told me that, look at this guys. Look at how dirty this treadmill is. I mean, we're in the Virgin Island. Uh, this results, you know. Uh, the resort is called Bangalore Bay, Bungalow Bay, okay? So I'm, now I'm worried. I don't think if this treadmill is going to work, but let's give it a try. The smell is like smoke and mildew and everything combined. And the shorelines are too short for me to be running there, but uh, let's just give it a try. Let's see if it will work. Oh, okay, it's working. All I'm trying to do is to stay healthy while I'm away. That has always been my goal.
Guys, I just found a rush in the sink right here. You see this? So, this is one of the reasons why you should not stay in Bangalore Bay. Well, this is a one of the consideration. I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't stay, but this is my experience. Okay, so don't, don't come back for me and say, Oh, she said we shouldn't stay here. No, I'm telling you guys. This is my experience if you want to experience it. See, I think I've shown you guys how small the shower is, right? I don't know if I can have a clear view. But well, this is the shower. You see? It's very, very, very tiny. Super tiny. When you stand in there, I'm very pity that I can't even fit there, honestly. Stay at Bungalow Bay was a nightmare, and uh, I felt as if I was scammed. I, uh, I mean, the, the result did not, uh, you know, exceed my expectation. Okay, it's in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Island. They are one of the few, or if not the only, uh, you know, resort that offers all inclusive. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, when I did my research, I said there were another one, but uh, in terms of all inclusive like it is, I think they are the only one. So um, I felt I felt duped, I felt blind to because uh, you know the, the room were outdated uh, to the point where um, you know the the, the toilet uh, at some point it got clogged. We have to call in so they can unclog it. Uh, the shower, I'm telling you, look at how pitted I am. I am very pretty. I'm 5 2 1 a good day, if not 5 1. And uh, I am very pretty and small. I couldn't fit into the shower. When I enter the shower, if I have to turn, but this is the shower, right? You stand like this and take shower. I couldn't fit there. I felt claustrophobic. It's super small. I couldn't wash my whole body in the shower properly. I'm telling you, like the water either goes over it. It's, it's just the way the shower is, it's something weird about it. It's very small. I was disappointed with the shower. Uh, the, the bathroom sink, uh, the, they only have a shower, a toilet, and the sink, right? The bathroom sink was cracked. And the one night I found a roach in my bathroom sink, you know, two nights actually. I took a picture of it. I was, I mean, it, it was just not what I expected. The, um, I mean, the the beach is uh, is very rocky. It's full of rock. It's as if you're getting a rock. You, you cannot even enjoy that beach. I don't remember going to the water. I still got the water to take a picture, but I didn't even want to take a picture there because it was full of black, dirty seaweed. They did not keep that off the beach. They, 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 I mean, they did not maintain it well. They just let those see the pile up. It's black, it looks ugly. You don't want to take a picture while you are there. In terms, unless you're facing the water, you don't like, like, 
I did, but that wasn't the thing. You wanted to get from the beach like this, but then you are worried about the background. I feel as if, you know, um, this result, uh, Monk and Lube result, is not cheap, let's be honest. So um, it may be affordable among all the other results, but it's not cheap either. So therefore, the uh, I feel as if they did not care about, uh, about their client you know uh because they were one of the few who were offering all inclusive and they sold that to you and the 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 trip advisor they don't have an updated uh you know version of the result so when we were booking we saw all those nice beautiful nice beach and the room we felt fooled when we get there I'm like, this is not what I saw online. So we went there um, July 26th to August uh, 3rd. So we went there for eight days, room 128 to be specific. <laughs> okay, 2022. Okay, so it's just like, uh, you guys just fooled us. They have to do better. Seeing a roach in my bathroom in a resort, that's not what you want. They are a team. The, I have a video to insert or if you guys have seen the video that I inserted, the video of the gym, right? It is a mess. I smell of melting the whole day when I went into that gym. You know, I try to stay fit even when I go on vacation and that was in there for me. I, 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 I have to go out of the resort to look for a gym. That is not supposed to happen. The jeans, it was a well kept, it smelled mildew, dirty. You guys have seen the insert in the photos. I just, I just couldn't believe it. I was devastated. At least have a decent gym. I know everyone, you know, that comes there don't go to the gym or want to work out, but there are few, you know, that wants to at least keep their cardio rate up or do some cardio. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, so I did a lot of things to, um, you know, uh, not think so much of the dirty beach they have there, the roach infested bathroom or room, you know, by just doing a lot of activity outside of the results. So this is how I feel whenever I have to come, let's say we are out, you know, uh, you know, we went to Megan Bay Beach and all the beaches, you know, we went to St. John and why not. So whenever we come coming back to the resort, I feel um, easy and like, oh, I can't believe you're going there again. This is not supposed to be the feeling. If I have to stay there for eight days and feel this way, I felt so bad to the point where I wanted to change the result while I was there. But I was going to lose money if I did that. They were not going to pay me back your money. So you need to be aware of that. And uh, the food, the food is doable, but the sample were all inclusive, right? The menu is very limited. The menu of the food is very limited. The food is doable. You know, it's not bad. At first you're like, okay, I can do it. But then, if you have to stay there for even four days, you'll get tired of it. After two days, I was tired. I had to find a place to eat. I was eating out. I'm like, I think I'm tired. I might have paid for all inclusive. But if I knew the food or the menu was this limited, I wasn't going to pay for all inclusive. I didn't want the food or the drink. You know, the drinks are okay, you know, they're okay. And uh, the pool, the pool hours, you know, their kids, they, you know, family that comes have the kids, so they don't have the designated pool for the kids. So you have to wait for the kids to get out of the pool in order for you to go in. And that can be very late, maybe 11, because sometimes at 10 p.m., you know, family is out there with the kids. So I went into that pool once because I didn't want to wait again for the kids to get out of the pool. I'm like, you know, um, this is cool, but uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay. I don't want to be waiting for kids to get off the pool. Uh, how you call it? What else? I tend to think on top of my mind uh, what to, you know, what was my experience, you know. Uh, the stuff, the stuff are nice. Okay, to me, the staff, the staff were nice. No one was so disrespectful to me. And uh, I saw a lot of unhappy 
crying there. When we went there on first night, there was this lady screaming on top of her mouth, asking, I mean, uh, she was a little bit tipsy, but you know, they say drunk people tell the truth. She was yelling that your daily room, expensive room, I paid so much money, you guys are not treating me good. She was asking for more drinks, so, but even if she was asking for more drinks, the fact that she was mentioning the room being dirty, and it was our first day there, so I took notice of what she said. Not that I was expecting, but when I saw those rushes and the, the, the toilet being plugged and the dairy beach, I'm like, I could, we could have done better coming here. So if I ever have to go back to St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Island, would I go to uh, Bungalow Bay Resorts? I'm sure you can kiss my resort. Huh? I mean, my answer, sorry. I'm, so, I'm sure you can kiss my answer. And my answer is no. Would I recommend Bungalow Bay Resort or anyone else? I will say no as well because I don't want anyone to to come and be surprised with that okay do you know bare minimum and you pay a lot. If you have to leave the New England United States to go to the US Virgin Island, your expectation, your own vacation, you want the best of everything. Bungalow Bay was in it for me. I don't know about you. There are some people that may disagree and do not mind everything I have mentioned or showed you guys in this video. But for me, no. But my happiness matters. If I had to wait while I was there, I would have definitely changed the result. I would have went somewhere better. But I did not want to lose my money. So I dealt with it. You know, it wasn't a pleasant experience, but guess what? I had fun in the Virgin Island by going out and exploring every activity there is. It is a beautiful place to go. You should enjoy it and watch my next video to find out why.